Hello everyone, welcome to 2020-2021, your math class. Um, we're going to start off by taking things a little bit slow because we're all just kind of, you know, remembering how how it is to do school in this, and also in this really weird um, online um, climate. So um, just a couple of things, you have that note template, so you want to go ahead and um, Download that if you haven't already. You can open it up in Notability and take some notes, or you, you're welcome to take your own. Um, I always do notes the exact same way, so there's a note section where I'll just give you some information. And then there's a we problem, which is the problem that we will work through. In this case today, I have two of them, okay? Um, and again, it's, this is really basic content just so we get the flow today. Um, I do these two problems, I'll show you how to do them, show you all the steps, okay? And then the last part is the you all problem, as in you all try it. I'm not going to show you how to do it, I'm just going to put up the answer, okay? And so that's a chance for you to kind of build your confidence and see if you can do one on your own, okay? All right, so like I said, super basic today, we're just doing going over order of operations again, just so we can get the flow, you can kind of see the process, the cycle that we're going to... Um, use this school year. So we have parentheses, right? Order of operations, you learned this a long time ago. This is just the order in which you need to work in order to simplify an expression down as much as possible, okay? So parentheses and or the brackets, always do that first. Then you have the exponents, okay? Then you've got the multiplication and the division. And I just want to remind you these two things, when you get to this point, you go left to right. Okay, and then the same is true with the addition and subtraction. Okay, one more thing about um, these little lessons as well is that I'm going to go pretty quickly, but the luxury of having a video is that you can pause it anytime. Okay, so if you need to pause it right now, go ahead. Okay, so here we go. Here's the we problem. So think order of operations. First thing is parentheses. That means we're going to start right here. So I'm going to do 2 plus 3. 9 take away 4 is 5, okay? Next thing is exponents. That's right here. So that's 2 plus 3. 5 squared, of course, is 25, okay? Next, I see a multiplication. I also see an addition, but multiplication comes first. So this is 2 plus 3 times 25 is 75. And then last step, I like to use set notation. You can circle, you can box, but there it is. It's 77. Okay, over here, um, I put the parentheses in different colors just so you can see kind of the structure here. So this is big parentheses within that. There's this parentheses, there's this parentheses, there's that one. Okay, so order of operations, here we go. This one's kind of a complex one. Okay, we've got this whole big parentheses, so we want to hone in on what's inside the orange um, parentheses marks. Okay, within that, we want to hone in on the little parentheses. Okay, so I see this parentheses right here. There's nothing that can be done with that. So I'm going to focus in on the blue one. And within the blue one, there's a parentheses within that, which means everything we see in here is where we want to focus first. Okay, so first, within that, I see an exponent. So that's going to be 2, 8 squared minus 7, 32 minus 4. Okay, 3 squared is 9, okay, and then again, I'm going to just continue with that parentheses, okay, what's inside this parentheses, so that's 2, 8 squared minus 7, that's 32 minus 4 times 8, because 9 minus 1 is 8, okay, close that one, okay, now over here, let's see, so we have 2, we've got 8 squared minus... Now we have this parentheses, within that we have this going on, so that's 7, this multiplication here, that's 32 minus 4 times 8 is um, 32, close, close, oh I'm sorry, now that one's taken care of, okay, and then times negative 1, okay, and so now we've got 32 minus 4 times 8, which is 32, so within this parentheses we have a 32 minus a 32, that of course is 0, Okay, and then times a negative 1, close, close, okay, and so now anything of course times 0 is 0, so all of this is gone, we can go ahead and evaluate that, so that's 64, and last step, 2 times 64 is 128, I'll circle it that time, okay. 
okay? All right, so here we go. Pause it if you need to. Here is your you all problem. Okay, so pause it, give it a shot, okay? And the answer you should be getting is 12. Alrighty, good luck. Get to the practice.